Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Senzo May US killers are still not yet behind bars. It's been over eight years. And uh, this time around in court, it has been revealed that Senzo Mayua was shot at close range as the witness has decided to spill every single truth in court as to what exactly happened to Senzo Mayua. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video please. A witness in Senzo Mayua's trial revealed that the footballer was shot at close range. The revelation has shed new light on the circumstances surrounding the footballer's tragic departure from this world. The witness made a crucial statement during the trial, pointing to the vest worn by Senzo Meiwa on the night of his death. The witness stated, and I quote, The tearing on this vest indicates a close range, and it's a very, very close range. What I see is that the firearm was in contact with the body of the deceased. The assertion that the firearm was in direct contact with the footballer's body has been raised and of course it has actually raised questions about the motives behind the shooting and the events leading up to the tragic night. The prosecutors and defense attorneys have both taken notice of this new evidence which could potentially reshape the course of the trial. Legal experts anticipate that this revelation might prompt the prosecution to reconsider their strategy. The late Senzo Meiwa was a beloved figure in South Africa known for his remarkable skills on the soccer field. His untimely departure from this world shocked the nation and left a void in the hearts of his fans, family and friends. The trial, which has been closely followed by the public, seeks to uncover the truth behind the circumstances of his death and deliver justice for the Meiwa family. As the trial as well proceeds, the revelation of a close-range shooting adds a layer of complexity to the case. Both the prosecution and defense are expected to carefully analyze this new testimony and its implications for their arguments. The nation highly awaits with bated breath as the trial unfolds and more details come to light. The revelation of Senzo Meiwa being shot at close range has injected fresh uncertainty into a case that has long demanded answers, leaving observers anxious to see how the legal proceedings will evolve in the coming weeks. I personally feel so bad about all what is ongoing already with the Senzo Meiwa's case because it is a high turn off to so many South Africans who believe that they have been robbed of the ability as a nation, as a people, to actually have justice for their own beloved brother and celebrity Senzo Meiwa. Senzo, of course, aside just being a top celebrity and an icon for South Africans, he was a great philanthropist who was loved by so many people. Back in the day, Senzo Meiwa was married to Mandisa Nkize, but to our shocking concern, one of his friends, his very close friend, Dugosi Sitwala, revealed that Senzo Meiwa was just engaged to, you know, this woman in question. And everybody's more or less like, anyways, engagement, marriage is a close something, but some people at some point even say that Mandisa Nkize, who happened to be Senzo Meiwa's woman back in the days, should actually be investigated upon as well because nobody is innocent in this particular case until the truth is actually out because everybody should be a suspect right in this particular Senzo Meiwa's case because there is no certainty that a particular person is the one who pulled the trigger on Senzo. Without judging you or tell me in the comment section what you think about this.